That's huge. That is a biggie. It's out of here. India's COVID-19 tally crosses 9 million mark after 45,882 cases in a day. The US COVID-19 outbreak is worse than it's ever been. And Democratic candidate for the US Senate Georgia, Reverend Rafael Warnock, holds a South Asian rally and meet and greet at Patel Plaza. Hello and welcome to 2020 Stars and I'm your host Namita. COVID-19, when we first heard about it in the month of February or March, we weren't sure what it was. By the time April and May came, we got so panicked, we locked down ourselves in our homes. Mostly because government said so. Till June and July came, we were in a state of shock, uncertainty, economic losses of various kinds. But as the experts say, lockdown fatigue. We all felt it. And then we wanted to get back to our normal life so badly, then we forgot about one thing. COVID-19 is still here and vaccine is not. In today's bulletin, we are going to show disturbing facts about this pandemic. This is just to show ourselves a little mirror, not to worry you, but to be aware. We are starting with the India Coronavirus Update. India is approaching the 11th month of the coronavirus pandemic and with more than 9 million confirmed cases, the second highest in the world after the US and more than 132,000 reported deaths. Recovery surged to 84.28 lakh, pushing the national recovery rate to 93.6%. The only consolation is a death rate that's lower than many countries with a high caseload. The increase in reported cases has partly to do with increased testing, but the speed at which the virus is spreading is worrying experts. Here's why. It took 170 days for India to reach the first million cases. The last million cases took only 11 days. Seven states are worst affected, accounting for about 48% of India's population. But even as infections soar, India is opening up workplaces, public transport, eateries, gyms, to try to repair a battered economy suffering its worst slum in decades. Experts worry that India has begun to lower its guard. After an intense lockdown in the spring and restrictions on social gathering through the summer, the government has been steadily unlocking. There is no talk of locking down again. The overall mood seemed to be, let's move on. Mobility data show that Indians have returned to shopping areas and public spaces. Many are not wearing masks, a large chunk of the population seems resigned to the threat of the infection. Social workers on the field tell horrifying stories. दिल्ली को हिट कर चुकी है इतना बुरा हाल हो चुका है दिल्ली का जब कोविड शुरू हुआ था उससे भी ज्यादा बुरा हाल आज हो रहा है नवंबर के इस महीने में जो फिगर्स आपको दिखाए जा रहे हैं कोविड-19 से हुए डेथ केसेस के दिल्ली में वो सिर्फ वो आंकड़े हैं जो हॉस्पिटल में डेथ हुई है घरों के अंदर सैकड़ों लोग रोज मर रहे हैं दिल्ली में जिसका आंकड़ा कहीं नहीं दिखाया जा रहा इसके फिगर्स कहीं नहीं दिखाए जा रहे शहीद भगत सिंह सेवरों की टीम्स ऐसी लाशों को रोज लेकर आ रही हैं घर से लेकर शमशान घाट तक जिनकी होम आइसोलेशन में डेथ हो रही है हॉस्पिटल में जाओ तो बेड नहीं है बेड है तो ऑक्सीजन नहीं है ऑक्सीजन है तो वेंटिलेटर नहीं है और वेंटिलेटर के बाद भी अगर कुछ चला जाता है उसकी लाश को जलाने के लिए आज शमशान घाट में जगह नहीं है गाड़ी शमशान घाट पे जो लेके आती है उसके अंदर रखने की जगह नहीं है अ रीसेंट बीबीसी रिपोर्ट सपोर्ट्स दिस क्लेम एज वेल मैंने नौ हॉस्पिटलों के चक्कर काटे लेकिन वहां से कोई रिजल्ट नहीं मिला आज मैं इतना अकेला महसूस कर रहा हूं कि मैं मेरे पे कोई शब्द नहीं है जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ देयर केयरलेसनेस आई लॉस्ट माय फादर एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट मी मेनी ऑफ देम हैव लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ जस्ट बिकॉज़ दे डिड नॉट गेट आईसीयू बाय रन टाइम इज द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट दैट वी विल ट्राई टू ब्रेक द चेन ऑफ इंफेक्शन मींस वी विल ट्राई टू ब्रेक द स्प्रेड एंड फॉर दैट व्हाट वाज नीडेड इज टू डू एक्सटेंसिव टेस्टिंग बट नाउ व्हाट वी हैव सीन दैट the lockdown was very uh, unplanned major festivals like diwali worsened the conditions and with the winter coming experts say the worst is yet to come sustainable pandya you can find all kind of gems stones beads pearls jewelry all at affordable rate and under one roof at beads after beads
अगर आप इस वक्त हमें YouTube पर देख रहे हैं तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब शेयर एंड लाइक ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर आर अपकमिंग वीडियोज यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच दिस बुलेटिन एट टाइम स्टार्स डॉट कॉम वेल आफ्टर इंडिया नाउ लेट्स है लुक एट द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स कोरोना वायरस अपडेट नथिंग अबाउट द करंट कोविड नाइन्टीन एक्सप्लोजन शुड कम एज अ सरप्राइज एज द वायरस स्प्रेड थ्रू आउट समर एंड फॉल एक्सपर्ट्स रिपीटेडली वॉन्ट विंटर वुड बी वर्स They caution that a cold weather return to indoor socializing, particularly around the holidays, could turn a steady burn into a wildfire. The US is now locked in a deadly cycle of settling, then shattering records for new cases and hospitalizations. On November 13, a staggering 177,000 people in the US were diagnosed with COVID-19. As of November 17th more than 70000 coronavirus patients were hospitalized nationwide and unlike in earlier waves which were fairly regionalized the virus was as of November 17 spreading and fast in virtually every part of the US according to Johns Hopkins University data This coast to coast surge is pushing hospitals across the country to edge for catastrophe. Doctors and nurses are exhausted and intensive care units running dangerously low on beds. Heart attack for a stroke, we might not have the capacity to take care of that patient. That we will have to make very difficult decisions about who gets the best quality care. The emotional and the physical stress is exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. I don't know how we are getting through it. Right on the cusp of things get going from ugly to to horrible and, and that's uh, that's where they're living right now. I've been with a couple of nurses crying you just you get to the end of your shift and we've done all we've done. So just the consoling of them and saying you're a great nurse, you're doing all you can, we're going to make it through and you know it's it's hard. In El Paso, Texas, the dead have been shunned to mobile morgues partially staffed by the incarcerated. But the US public has become terrifyingly good to ignoring those harsh realities. Almost 40% of respondents to recent Ohio State University survey said they plan to gather with at least 10 people for Thanksgiving, even though in many areas this comes with the likelihood of sharing a table with an infectious person. Many people continue to dine at indoor restaurants and work out in gyms because many elected officials continue to let them. As Americans reaction to the pandemic become increasingly divorced from the reality of it, public health officials may be facing their biggest challenge yet. We may be superheroes, but we are not superhuman. Forcing the public to face how bad things still are and how worse they may become. Amid this coronavirus terror there is a good news too or ray of hope Pfizer and BioNTech likely to submit to the FDA for emergency authorization for their coronavirus vaccine Agar sab kuch theek raha to emergency cases ke liye ye vaccine end of the year se available ho sakti hai We will keep you updated regarding the same Here aage badhte hain on Thursday November 19 Democratic candidate for the US Senate Georgia Reverend Rafael Warnock held a South Asian rally and meet and greet at Patel Plaza Warnock the senior pastor at the historic Baptist Church in Atlanta is running to unseat Kelly Loeffer a Republican. Let's have a look at the event. Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is State Representative Carla Drenner and I'd like to welcome you to House District 85. You know Georgia went blue, right? And the Senate's going to go blue too. Obviously, you know me. I'm Mike Patel. I want to welcome everyone here. I'm glad it's such a great sunny day for us. But before I give it, give the microphone to Reverend Warnock, I just want to thank some important people. Mostly, Reverend Warnock is very affiliated with churches, but we have a lot of our temples. So the Jamaat Khanna, who's supporting us at the back, I want to thank them. I want to thank Sakti Mandir, Bobby Patel here. We also have represent from BAPS. So I hope Reverend Warner can come to our temples as well because maybe he can do a sermon for us. Right? So but most of all important 
is this is our community here and we've got to get our community to go and vote for the right person and they're so important we i mean can you imagine in our lifetime we're having georgia turn blue but the icing on the cake icing on the cake is january where we get reverend of and john also into our senate so that's why and why is so passionate unfortunately i never knew last year that this year i'll be standing here and i lost my wife 6 months ago to covid and 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 then i was thinking of you she was out, she was supposed to be released from hospital within 3 days but she has a underlying issue and so within 3 days it, they give you pregnisone to suppress your inflammation but it also suppresses your immune system so she passed away and uh some passionate about all of you guys because there's one thing if you have a pre-existing condition we must have it covered let me tell you as southeast asians we know probably in your house someone's got diabetes okay so this is so important so when you go back home please explain why we must come and vote because this is a man that's going to protect inclusively i always say i was appointed commissioner by bill clinton to the white house and i always say to myself democrat we're more inclusive than exclusive so for inclusive sake i want to introduce you to without taking too much of your time let's do more of this let's get people out to vote and we're also going to do some fundraisers but this is where we make the difference i want to welcome reverend rafael warner please big round of applause well hello everybody Give, give Mike Patel a great big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you for all of the support that we are feeling all across the state of Georgia. I hope to inspire you to vote for Rafael Warnock and John Ossoff. Listen, this is um, a special time in the state of Georgia. The eyes of the whole nation are on us. That we are a nation built together not on the basis of race not on the basis of ethnicity or national origin not on the basis of where we worship or by what name we call god not on the basis of anything else other than a grand idea that all of us are in our own unique way and so i want to encourage you to stand with me in the days ahead let people know that Reverend Warnock's campaign is about ordinary people. It's about honoring the work that folks are putting in instead of demonizing workers and demonizing poor people. Tell them that I'm somebody who believes that it's a contradiction to call people essential workers and not pay them an essential wage. Not provide for them essential benefits. Tell them that I believe that our seniors should not have to choose between prescription drugs and buying food. Tell them that I believe that a senator was not sent to the United States Senate to represent big pharma, but to represent the little people, and I'd be deeply honored to represent the people in the great state of Georgia in the United States Senate. My name is Perez Sayed. We believe in voting for Warnock because he's pro health care, pro choice, pro South Asian community, pro business, and we want to make sure that we keep Georgia blue. That's all in this bulletin. Hope through our reports on COVID-19, you have known the latest about coronavirus and would take care of yourselves and your family, because every case is the face of a loved one, not just a mere number. With this note, this is your host Namita signing off. See you all next week.